Welcome to another video. Uh, this time I thought I'd show you how to set up a game in the Next Level Racing Motion platform software for a game that's not natively supported. So games like WRC8 and RecFest, uh, those games don't output telemetry data. And so what we're going to have to use is something called the Direct Input Plugin. And basically what that is, is it takes the motion of your controller and translates that to the motion in your platform. So for racing setup, uh, your, the motion of your wheel, your brake and accelerator pedals, those are what's going to actually cause the motion in the game. Now it's not going to be any near, anywhere near close uh, for a game that's natively supported. You're going to miss jumps and hits and stuff like that. But a little motion is better than nothing. Uh, once you've played a racing game with motion, it's very hard to play a game that doesn't have it. So with these settings, you can at least get some motion that gives you a, a little bit of feeling about what you're doing. So while they're not the greatest, they're actually pretty good. And I really like my settings for RecFest. And I'll show you those in a setting, in a, set, in a second. And then I'll have a video afterwards to show you that emotion. So we'll set up a game that's not supported. So we'll go down here to New Profile. I'll select that, give it a name. Let's do Non-Supported Game. Hit OK. It brings up this window. And it automatically shows a direct input plugin. Leave that as it is. If you click it, you can see all the different plugins for the different games. Uh, since this game isn't supported, you're not going to show it's not going to show up. So just select the direct input plugin. And as you can see in the mapping section, we haven't mapped any controls, so it doesn't know what to use, and we got to set that up. So what you're going to do is click configure. And this is where you're going to tell it the controls that you want to move your platform. So when I select it, I have uh, the DD2 base, and it shows up twice. And the orb weaver, I'm going to choose the DD2. Now, I didn't think it mattered which one of these I chose, but it actually does. You have to choose the very first one. Now, I have my pedals uh, plugged into the base. And so that's why I'm just choosing this one. If I had my pedals separately, they would show up here, and I'd choose that as a second option. But since they're, all, they're connected, I'm just going to choose, choose the first one. I'm going to leave the pole interval set to default. I'm going to run the mapping wizard. And it brings your settings over from the last menu. And then you're going to select the game type. Leave it at car racing. You could do flight simulator if you had like a joystick and your rudder pedals. You can get some motion with that. But we're going to choose car racing. And then I'm going to choose next. And then you can see down at the very bottom of the first uh, window, like it says up here, I'm going to move the string wheel left and right. And as you can see, the very first bar is moving. And then when I do the accelerator pedal, you can see that. And this is just kind of getting everything set up. And there's my brake pedal. So those are the only three things I'm really going to be doing using for motion. And now I'm going to click Next, and it's going to walk me through it. So now I'm going to rotate the wheel all the way to the left, all the way to the right. Move it to the center. Throttle pedal. And brake pedal. All right, configuration is completed. I've set up the controls I want to use. Click Done, and then click OK. And now my mapping section is filled in. So now I'll explain the mapping source. So mapping section. So we got source. So this is Joy 1X. So this is your left and right motion, as you can see here. So this is your wheel. And so the settings you want to change is smoothness and then your range. Uh, smoothness is like I said, is the smoothness of the uh, motion. I found you kind of want to keep that maybe uh, nine to ten or nine to fifteen clicks in to the left. If you go anything farther than that, it's almost too smooth and you, it's just too slow because it's just trying to smooth everything out. So you want to keep it very close. I'd, I'd say 10, 9 to 10 clicks is, is pretty good. Uh, some of these settings, like the offset and the factor, those are set up automatically when you do the mapping. So don't touch those. That will ruin everything. So don't mess with those at all. Things you really want to touch here is the range. So this is how much left and right movement comes out of your platform that basically when you turn your wheel left and right. If you leave it at the default values, your motion platform is going to go all the way left and all the way right when you turn your wheel and it's, it's too much motion. So you want to kind of rein those down. So like I said, you can select one. Like we'll put it at 15. So what you can do is get it kind of close. Then you can use the arrow keys and it will go down one at a time. Like I said it's a little finicky, uh, but you can get that setting. Same for this left and right. You want to keep these the same. 
once again get that 15,000 whatever you want to do whatever you're setting here because I found uh, when you make this change here and click click save and you move your wheel your motion platform is going to move but I found it kind of moves more in these menus versus the actual game that you're in so when you get these values set you need to go back and race around the track and, and feel how it feels inside the game and not just in the menus and so you're going to do that that's like I said that's for your wheel and then the next setting is for your uh, acceleration pedal. So this is Y. So this is rear front. So this is going to be the rear. So when you press on the accelerator pedal, this is how much motion the seat's going to have backwards. So once again, you want to set this range to uh, whatever you think is comfortable. And you're only going to have to set this one side. Like I said, once you press on the accelerator, uh, that's how far back. And the next setting is your RZ, which is your brake. So this is when you press your brake pedal, how much your seat goes into the wheel. And so, like I said, once again, now we're on the left hand, right hand side. And so adjust this to whatever you feel is good. And like I said, you can adjust the smoothness, kind of keep it right there. Basically, you might play around with that and see what feels good to you. But that's basically all the settings you got. I guess there's one more I forgot to mention is this maximum speed up here. And this is how fast it moves. And I played around a little bit with this, and like I said, once again, it's a uh, personal preference. So you just got to get into a game, change these settings, race around the track, and see how they feel. And that's it. Uh, when you hit save and close, and the other, only other setting you have is the motion post-processing. You don't have any intensity settings or none of the other ones because those are actually used from tele tele telemetry data. And without those... It's kind of, like I said, it's just using the movements of the wheel, so your options are limited. But once again, you're going to set the linearity, and I'll show you my rec fest, how I kind of turn this down a little bit. So what the, the way to read this is, when you move this your wheel, how much is actually a seat moving? And so this is one-to-one, -one, so how far you move it is how far it's going to be based on your range. And So you kind of want to adjust that, so the farther you turn the wheel, when it gets to the the more you turn it, you don't want it to keep turning your moving your seat. You kind of want it to stop. And so that linearity helps you to stop that. So that's why I suggest messing with that. And once again, keep all these values the same as your pitch and your roll. You can actually, if you want a more pitch, I guess you could change that. But anyway, I usually keep them the same. And so if you want to go back and edit your settings, you go back to the edit. And that brings up this window again and make your changes, save and close. So now I'll show you my settings for Wreckfest, and I'm pretty happy with these. I messed around with them all up about two or three hours yesterday, and they feel really good. And I'll show you what they are. And uh, the one thing I didn't test is I'm not sure how, at least for the wheel, how your force feedback settings uh, work with these settings. Because like I said, without telemetry data, it's the left and right motion of the wheel. And so in Wreckfest, you're getting hit a lot by other cars. And so luckily, I have my force feedback setting medium to high strength. So when a car rams into me, it causes my wheel to automatically turn left to right, which causes a motion in the platform, which makes it feel like I got hit. Uh, and so I don't know if you don't have your force feedback up very high, if you're actually going to feel that. It's actually going to cause the wheel to move. So you might not get that feeling. You'll still get the left and right, but you won't get those impacts. Uh, like I said, it feels really good to me. I'm really enjoying the game now. Uh, and so my settings for the, for the wheel have a range of 20,000. I keep them the same on the left and right. Uh, the smoothness setting is, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, one, two, the seven settings in. Uh, the next setting for Y, uh, I have a 6,000. And my smoothing settings of 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then for my brake pedal, I have it set the same motion as my accelerator. Like I said, you don't want, I guess you could change that a little bit, but I kind of wanted the same forward motion as backward motion. You could change those if you wanted. And the smoothness setting is the same as the uh, acceleration pedal. And then I'll click save and close. I actually just carved something for many changes. And then I'll click this again. Oops. And click play. I'll click Wreckfest. And as you can see, I have my linearity set to 3.48, set to 3.48 on both of them.
Okay. All right. So anyway, those are my settings. Uh, I'll post a link to a picture of them so you can get them a better better view of them. The pictures that you can have saved. Uh, and like I said, give these a try. Let me know what you think. Any you have any questions or comments in the comments below. And after this, there'll be a video that uh, shows how these settings work in motion. So I guess I'll see you out there racing.